Hello and welcome to module 6.8. This is the continuing journey through the different GNSS constellations. And this is the last constellation we'll look at in this MOOC, IRNSS, the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. This system, like QGSS and like some of Beidou, exists up here at the edge of the satellite neighborhood at the geo and geosynchronous orbit altitude. And if we go and look at what the orbits look like, you'll see there are, the plan is to have three geos, and they will be in equatorial orbit, of course, so that they will be hovering uh, at similar longitude to India, and then four geosynchronous satellites at inclined geosynchronous orbits. And just like with QGSS and with Beidou, they produce these eights in the ground trackers, one at that longitude and one at that longitude. So those are the four geosynchronous orbits. And like Beidou, they have been designed with symmetric uh, orbits, unlike QZSS. So it's interesting to go and look at the orbits of the different geosynchronous satellites. So, and um, with, with this picture, uh, three different systems on top showing one satellite from each of three different systems, you can clearly see the different inclination angles. So let's start with the highest. Uh, the highest inclination angle is for Beidou, that's this one. And it produces this 8 over China. And then the, the next highest inclination angle, I'll do this in blue, is QZSS and you remember that that had a, a noticeable eccentricity so that it produced this asymmetric eight over Japan. And then the one with the least inclination angle is IRNSS. And, and it's set so that its longitude is there to the left of India, and it produces a symmetric eight there. So there's what it looks like from space. And if we go see what it looks like on a, a flat Earth projection, you see the, the different eights there. And so this is a really interesting uh, example of the effect of the inclination angle on the ground trace. So the one that goes highest in latitude is 54 degrees inclination angle and going overhead at 54 degrees latitude. You can see that here on the latitude scale uh, for Beidou. And 41 degrees for QZSS and 27 degrees for IRNSS. And the reason is obvious when you look at it, you get best coverage over the region of interest for each of these systems. So for the signals, IRNSS is the only system among the different GNSS systems that does not have anything in the region of L1. You'll remember that uh, the very uh, the, the previous video we looked at Galileo and it, it transmits right on L1 and the other systems that uh, QZSS transmits right on the same as L1 as GPS and GLONASS and Beidou are not exactly on GPS but they're close enough the same front end can pick them up. Uh, IRNSS has nothing there, and it has a transmission right out in S-band at about 2.5 gigahertz, 2,2492 megahertz out here. Uh, but then it does, have, it does have a signal on L5, and the same L5 frequency as GPS. So to use IRNSS with GPS, compatibly with GPS, you would use the L5 frequency. The current status of IRNSS is that there are two satellites in orbit. Um, there's the information uh, launched this year, 2014, and last year, 
2013, and uh, they are in orbits that, that mean that they both produce the same or very similar ground track. So the, the first two have been set up so that they chase each other around in that particular eight in a longitude slightly less than India, slightly to the west of India. So if, uh, to get up-to-date information on IRNSS, go to this site. This is the Indian Space Agency website.